Hello everyone, this is Arkady from Joki5. Today we're going to do a myth busting video about a gasoline mini skid steers. Over here we have our 23 horsepower GT5 SSD M3. We'll show you the key features of it and then uh, do some uh, driving with the skid steer with having a uh, power attachment on at all the times to see if we can actually drive straight. And then with the help of the crane scale, we will test the lifting capacity of this machine. Myth number one, gasoline mini skid steers all have same boom design. Well, if you pay attention on the M3, you don't see any uh, hose fittings on the sides. They're all tucked nice and neatly inside, uh, inside the boom. That minimizes the chances of your damage in the hoses if you're driving by something or if you're trying to work uh, with the mini skid steer in the bush. Myth number two. All gasoline mini skid steers have the same engines. Well, not quite. Uh, there are key differences. Well, number one and the easiest to notice would be the horsepower. Uh, the uh, cheaper ones will come with the 13 and a half horsepower engines and the higher end ones will have a 23. And then even if you're looking at a 23 horsepower engine skid steer, you'd want to pay attention to the engine uh, model because the base ones will have Briggs and Stratton uh, and then the upgraded models will have a commercial grade one guards like the one we see here on Joti 5 M3 skid steer. Myth number three, all gasoline mini skid steers have same hydraulic pumps. Well, not quite. We're gonna open the engine compartment and take a look at the pumps that we have here and explain you the difference. As you see, the Joyty5 SSD M3 has triple pumps. What it will allow you to do is to actually be able to drive and run your auxiliary hydraulics at the same time. The lower quality machines can have one or two pumps and uh, what it's going to cause is that uh, if you let's say you want to use a trencher or a snow brush like what we have on this machine right now you won't be able to drive straight because as soon as you're going to turn on your auxiliary attachment it will take away power from one of the tracks and you will be driving kind of in circle. So to show you that it actually works on the Joti 5 SST M3, we will actually turn on the snow brush and try to drive straight. Since it's a gasoline machine, first we will pull out the choke, turn the key to start, pull the choke in, give it more gas. Now we're gonna raise the boom to lift the brush off the ground and not start throwing rocks. Now I'm going to turn on the brush. Uh, this kid steer has the setup auxiliary hydraulics which stay always on. This is what you would use with the trencher or the hydraulic brush. And now we will try to drive straight with just pull it, pushing the both wheels forward. As you see, the machine drives perfectly straight without any issues. The reason for it is because we have three pumps, not two, not one. So if you think that you're going to get this uh, gasoline skid steer and you need to run a snow brush or a trencher, you have to have three pumps. Otherwise, you won't be able to trench in a straight line or uh, drive it really with a snow brush because you'll just be going off center. Myth number four, gasoline mini skid steers can lift up to 800 kilos. That is over 1,700 pounds. To be honest, I doubt it. That is why we're going to test it. There is a difference between the theoretical lifting force of the skid steer and uh, at what weight it's actually going to tip. What comes into play here is the length of your tracks and your counterweight, which in this case is the weight of your operator. Now, I am around 170, 180 pounds. So this is what you're going to use for the test. And then in front of the skid steer, we have a forks attachment with the crane scale attached to the top of it. And then the bottom of the crane scale is attached to an anchor that's buried in the ground. 
So when we're going to lift the bomb, the uh, crane scales will show us what is the weight that is being lifted. Because we're dealing with a tipping load, uh, it's going to make a difference how far away the weight from the center of your machine. Here we will do three experiments. First one is going to be with uh, three feet from the edge of the forks till the uh, base of your attachment mounts. After that, we're going to do foot and a half. And then we're going to test it, how much you can lift right over here at the attachment mount. Since we tested the maximums, I have the machine at the full throttle. And now I'm going to start lifting the bolt. The rear of the machine is off the ground. At three feet away, we were at 325 pounds dip and load. Right now, we moved the weight at uh, one and a half feet away. Let's see what, how much it will take to tip this kit here. Okay, the rear is already start lifting. At a foot and a half, we were at 140 pounds. Right now, we have the crane scale at the base of the ports. All right, we're off the ground. As you saw in this video, when the weight is at the base of the uh, attachment, the JT5 SST M3 can lift up to approximately 800 pounds before it's going to start to tip. And the limitation here is not the power of the machine, it's pure physics, it's just the length of the tracks and how much support you got. That is why when some people claim that gasoline mini skid steers with the approximate same wheelbase can lift up to 800 kilos, well, I highly doubt it. And this is just because of the pure physics. Since machine is capable of lifting more, uh, but it just starts to tip, in order to counteract it, you can add some counterweights to the back or get a heavier operator than me. And in theory, he'll be able to lift more. Uh, but for the most day-to-day -day tasks, I wouldn't recommend uh, this type of machine if you're trying to lift anything heavier than four to 500 pounds. Thank you for watching, everyone. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you're gonna have any questions about Jotify machines, or you want to find out more information about this gasoline mini skid steer Joy T5 GT5 SST M3, visit joyt5.com or call one of our dealers. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe.